Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the motherfucking vlog! Welcome to the 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 vlog! Season 3! Welcome to the vlog! Isn't that crazy? Time of year for a new intro. Anyway, after my birthday, Turner drove me to Georgia's to work out, and that was really fun. And then I came home and just tested out the GoPro. Okay, Silk and I are, are doing like a makeup birthday for each other because we were both not here on each other's birthday. So, she'll have to pick the fit, but I did my makeup. And I also am on here to show off something. This is my birthday, one of my birthday gifts from Turner. It's so cute. He got me this tote bag. It's hand drawn. So the bike, isn't it pretty? And it's actually a huge bag. So lots can be carried in here. I'm so excited to give Silk her gift. And also I've been getting a lot of anxiety lately. You know when things are going really well, so you're like, mm, when is the shoe gonna drop? Like when is something bad gonna happen to me? So I've just been like getting a lot of anxiety that something really bad's gonna happen. So I'm trying to like stay positive and not feed into that in my head. But like it can sometimes be difficult when um, that's all my brain can think about. Unfortunate, but working through it and today is gonna be a good day. We decided to meet at La Durée and I walked there and it was very pretty inside. I had been there for brunch once for Issa's birthday in 2019. Yes, of course. <laughs> got a croissant with some roasted veggies and mozzarella and silk up salmon and that was really good. We enjoyed our meal together and it was just so cute inside. I would say the vibes are a bit better than the food but just overall good and I got to play with my GoPro a bit more. We had about an hour and a half to kill between that and our nails appointment. We basically just walked around for a bit before going to the Lotus Spa and we got pedicures and manicures and I just loved how they turned out. We got a little decaf afterwards. It was really cool to just chill with Silk and to finally celebrate our birthdays. Oh, nice. <laughs> you can see yourself. GoPro. Ten. Seven? Ten? Ten? I met up with Emilio, showed off the new camera, and we decided to go on a run together. And this one was absolutely brutal. We were going at 513 pace for 5k, and I was absolutely dead at the end and overheated. I went to my grandparents for dinner, and that was really fun. It's been a couple months since Molly's joined us, so it's been really great for her to be there. And I think my grandparents, most of all, are really loving it. After dinner, I met up with my friends at Earl's and we just chilled big with each one, other. So you got a big one for the little one price. This is awful. No. <laughs> what the hell? I'm, I'm I don't want to overindulge now. Remember that one time we went to the brewery? It's and you were as if you're the main. I was very tired at the end of the night and me and Turner just walked home and called it a day. But it was great to see everyone before I left. And Thursday was chaotic. I got a facial. I met up with Angela for lunch. And then I basically got home, took out the recycling, and then went to Turner's house. That was really great once I was able to get off the train and relax a little bit. It was so sunny even though the prediction didn't like save that. Turner had a snack at home and then after that I admired his mosquito bites and we went to Walmart so I could pick up some better carry-on. And his family's taking care of a puppy named Piper. She's so cute. Definitely a lot of energy and she's in a biting stage but still like such an adorable little puppy. It was nice to just have a relaxing evening with Turner and his family and we ended up watching a lot of TV in the evening and I took a bit of a nap, just very chill and the sky was looking beautiful. The next day we got a good amount of sleep, I slept for about 7 hours, woke up at 7 and Turner drove me to the Skytrain station near his work and I got home and me and Molly got to go on a walk like together. You ready to go yet? We walked along the seawall to go towards Coal Harbor and again it was just so sunny even though it was predicted not to be. We got a cup of coffee at JJ Bean, Molly was craving the almond milk and we also got smoothies from Body Energy. No, I, don't like either because here. I just want to take you guys with me to Hornby. Your parents, uh -huh. if, we, if we can get a big bag, yeah. we can to pick you up. Yeah. After spending a bit of time with my grandparents, I went to meet up with my friends from MDS. It was the last time when all of us were going to be together and we got pho together. And we met one of Rowan's friends from Australia and this is our final picture. And then I walked home and I got to see a lot of nature 
and I think I was just very tired and worn out by the end of the walk and I got home did some packing and editing. I've been doing such a good job with editing this week. I've been like editing every second day and not leaving it to the last minute like I have for the past six months. So good for me. I also packed a day ahead. Who am I? Being very productive and I'm in a great mood. I am happy I don't really have any plans tonight other than just eating with my family. I want to say I've done nothing. I've done nothing like quote unquote like working, but I'm definitely doing stuff that requires like energy. Like I'm, I walked 12 kilometers today. And that obviously tires your body out. So I'm feeling good and looking forward to this weekend. We had a final dinner with Molly. My dad made a beautiful pasta. My mom made a lovely pesto. And it was just really nice to have Molly there for this day. We finished the night by having some vegan popsicles and Molly got a very good head massage from my mom. It's finally time to say goodbye, which was very sad, but we're very excited for Molly. I'm still out here. Okay. <laughs> it's not the same effect. Bye. 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 I spent the evening watching Legend of Korra with Turner, which was fun because he's never seen it before. Okay, I'm just going on a quick walk before I'm in a car for five hours. I have a bike race tomorrow that I am not trained for. I am not in shape for. I think in my head, I saw this going differently, but I'm hoping that I'm still able to beat my time from 2019. I think I had time of like 403. So if I could beat that, I'd be pretty happy. And I think I can. I just have to like push myself a little bit. But we'll I went see. around Lost Lagoon and then went down the seawall for a bit. It was so beautiful and a good way to move my legs. I saw a cute cat before getting home and I got all my stuff together once I was there. Excited? I'm really excited to go. We packed the car and it was absolutely stuffed because we had to bring four bikes and we picked up Emma and the ride there was very easy for us because I wasn't driving but it's also very beautiful and I took a couple naps we pit stopped in Merritt overall it was just very great we got to the convention center to pick up all of the goodies for the race and we got to pine for some free samples once that was done we went to Savon's to get some groceries for breakfast the next day and then we just went back and I saw the house that we stayed at last year which was very exciting it took an accident the whole time lapse we went to the angry vegan for supper and water was the best thing I had ever tasted it was getting hot and I was getting dehydrated Hydrated. We had a lovely meal together and then we went to Tickleberries for ice cream and that was amazing. I actually had never been before to this very famous ice cream place in Penticton so that was fun. I got pistachio. What's up you guys? Um, I'm doing a haul for my race. So first haul item is they gave us this shirt which I should mention 360 I think. Matches the shorts or not this but the affinity rock that I'm wearing. So <laughs> that's a plus. Next goodie is that it comes in this little like coat slash, I feel like it's more of a side bag. Satchel, Satchel. I don't know. But it's cute, it's cute still. Funny. Next fun item is they give you a water bottle. <laughs> like a YouTuber's. <laughs> says Okanagan Grand Fondo. And then the last, but definitely not least, and what will be getting lots of use of this weekend, is a wine glass saying Okanagan Grand Fondo. Very exciting race ahead. It starts at 6.30 though, which is less exciting. You just be a walking advertisement for an accounting firm, which is oh, exciting. Yeah, which is, no, I'll, I know. I'm going to have it on the this way out so everyone knows I'm a cyclist, which is possibly worse. <laughs> My dad set up all the bikes, we relaxed, and I edited the vlog before me and Emma went on a walk. I accidentally sent us in the wrong direction, but we made it to the beach and it was really pretty. We both went down the slide and very fun. There was also another swing there that I didn't film, but it was also very fun. We've instilled a bedtime of 9.30 because the race is at 6.30 and we had to get up at 5. It is 9.07 now. So, <laughs> almost bed down this curfew. <laughs> oh, I should get ready for bed. <laughs> Okay, here we are, race day. Started it off with the peanut butter bagel and I got ready with my parents and we went to the starting line and it was very stressful because we were just waiting in line for like half an hour, moving forward slowly, but eventually we got on the road. Okay, I just conquered the king of the mountain. Holy fuck, that was tough. Around 60 kilometers to go. The first 40 kilometers felt good. The second half was a little bit harder. There's some highway parts that are tough. This audio is probably horrible, but I'm only 20K away. Okay, so I crossed the finish line and believe it or not, I beat last year's time by an hour. My total time was two minutes and 59 
I'm delusional. Two hours and 58 minutes. I can't believe it. I did a horrible job of filming her here. I apologize, but she made it across the line. My mom had a great time, rolled out her legs, and then we just got to walk around in the little area after the ride. I was feeling very tired, but we ended up finding these free samples for these LG energy bars, and yeah, they turned our tongues blue, but it was still pretty tasty. Excited? Yes, I'm excited. I have never seen my dad look so disoriented. He was definitely exhausted after his ride, but he had a really good time, even if he doesn't think so. And we got lots of beer. People were just giving away their beer tickets, so we got to have extra, which is great for us. And this veggie burger was just average, but it tasted like the best thing I'd ever eaten after a race. We biked back to the apartment. I did a bad job of filming Emma because of my hair. And then we decided to go for a little bit of a beach afternoon. We walked by the second Tickleberries and found a nice spot at the beach together. A little lounge like that was exactly what I needed after the race. It felt like I didn't even do the race. After we got sunned out, we packed up and went back to the hotel where I did some editing and relaxing. For supper, me, my mom, and Emma went to pick up pizza. We got a Mediterranean one and got one with spinach and feta, so it was all very yummy. And Emma brought us a bottle of Prosecco, so we opened that and that was just delicious. By the time we ate dinner, it was like the perfect temperature and there was a little robin that visited us, which was very cute. And at the end of the night, we all watched Howl's Moving Castle together and it was everyone except me's first time. So cool. It's so great when we're going to go for breakfast tomorrow. What? Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to uh, get your family to I'm just trying to film an outro. Oh, what? I'm just trying to film my outro. Okay. Let's be, let's be quiet for a second. Oh, there's so much pressure. Okay. Weird filming an outro with people watching me, but um, <laughs> I am just gonna make this quick. I had a great week. The race went really well. Me and my family all worked very hard today, but we're doing good. And I'm looking forward to this upcoming week. Lots of fun stuff happening. So without further ado, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.